Yeah, and we will bring this back up again to me. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Let me see if I finished everything here. So you, okay, I didn't, the paper, please, that I gave you. This, that's really, you're welcome to that, but that is related to the gate again. Okay, then we'll deal with that after. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Is that is that all related to the stop sign? With that. Is that all related to the stop sign? Now you, yeah, you just yeah. Now you went. I'm just making sure that you got everything. I didn't kick you out related to the stop sign. Every time I mentioned the uh, the, the, the gate, you you just interrupt me. <laughs> um. Um, just quickly, if you want to review the announcements, Touch a Truck will be held Saturday, May 15, 2021, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Information will be posted on the Township website. The Blood Drive is Saturday, May 15, from 8.30 to 1, sponsored by the Cecil Volunteer Fire Company Number 3. The Cecil Township Historical Society is actually going to be meeting for the first time since, what do we say, Jack, February? Uh, on Wednesday, May 19, 2021, at 7 p.m. in the Cecil Township Municipal Building. Everyone entering the building will be required to wear a properly fitting face mask and contactless temperature scan will be taken. Jordan Tax Service will be at the Township Municipal Building on Wednesday, May 19, from 9 to noon, Monday, May 24, from 1 to 4, and Friday, May 28, from 9 to noon. The municipal offices will be closed on Monday, May 31st in observance of the Memorial Day holiday. Normal business hours will resume 8 a.m. on Tuesday, June 1st. Resolutions 82-2021. Consider application 2021-0005 for, for 275 Technology Drive Parking Addition Site Plan contingent upon addressing the Township Engineer's letter dated April 14, 2021. Location 275 Technology Drive, Cannonsburg, SD Special Development Zoning District, Applicant 275 Tech B LLC. The Planning Commission recommended approval with a contingency on April 15, 2021. What was the contingency? Uh, this contingent upon my letter. Uh, so this is the. Is anybody here? There's, some, there's, a, there's a representative here uh, from the engineer's office related to the plan, uh, but this is So this is uh, this is a new parking area for 275 Technology Drive. Uh, just did the uh, we believe the current owner wants to bring the parking lot more up to standard. Have more spaces there. Uh, we reviewed the plan. Uh, they provided the information required. Uh, they're going to have stormwater management in the form of underground tanks here that you can see on the site and. Uh, they have a landscaping plan. Uh, the plan before they brought it to the planning commission, I made sure that they got SPOA approval first before they came to the board. So this does have SPOA approval. Uh, so um, there's some little bit of lighting required. Uh, you can see on this picture, this is the existing building here. This is just an open space area adjacent to the building. So uh, it's, it's all in order. Um, they did provide some additional information today. I just didn't get a chance to respond fully. So as it, as the agenda item is written, uh, I think that that's appropriate. And the applicants here for board has any questions. Hey, Dan, uh, could you in the future add the name of the business? I mean, we know what 275 technology, but nobody else reading this would know what it is. It's something on the one for PDD. Uh, Properties on the lease of um, private improvements. 
So just add the name of the business, like whether it's. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the. Uh, you always set up and end up telling us, usually. With, uh, I understood. Okay. This one, I'm not sure what the business is. I think it's just a vacant building. I'm not sure who's the tenant is in there now. The, there's, I don't believe there's actually a tenant in there right now. Um, they're doing this to kind of preemptively bring their parking standards up to more of like the current standards for amount of parking spaces required. Dan, yeah, I would, I as well would like to hear the uh, contingency or what was on the letter. And were those conditions met? Uh, yeah, there was some, uh, they, had to, they had to provide some revised information to meet the requirements of our site plan area. And then I typically put in there the developer's agreements required and a cost estimate has to be submitted so that they bond uh, this improvement. So that's really what we're down to, those, those particular items. Two issues? Yes. And then today you said there were more issues that you didn't respond to, what are they? Involved? Well, they, they had addressed the previous technical comments that I had uh, given them related to the plan. Okay. Did I have the comment letter from the board? That's okay, meeting? I have. Okay. Uh, so we, the, um, they had to show, uh, the issues from the Planning Commission are really just down to uh, erosion and sedimentation control plan, which they provided. Uh, they had to show some cut and fill quantities. They had to show the property setbacks. And uh, they needed to put some existing conditions information on. Like I said, they addressed the majority of of those comments, the only comments remaining are those related to the developer's agreement and cost estimate, which are typically provided afterwards. I'd like to make a motion to approve this. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. 83-2021, consider application 2021-0006 for the Traditions of America Phases 6 and 7 subdivision plan, contingent upon addressing comments from the Township Engineer's letter dated April 14, 2021. Location, Hahn Road, Cannonsburg, R2 Medium Density Residential Zoning District, applicant TOA Cecil LLC. The Planning Commission recommended approval with the contingency on April 15, 2021. Good evening, Grant Shire, PD, representing Traditions of America. Um, here tonight, requesting final approval for phase six and seven. So, just as a quick recap, uh, this is the overall master plan for the South Point site. Phase six and seven are located in the rear. Phase six is in green. Phase seven is in red. There are 33 units in phase six, and there are 39 units in phase seven. Just a blow up of the area in case there are any specific questions about these phases. Um, it, I think I heard a letter from April. Uh, we received the May 3rd letter that has cleaned up many of those comments uh, within the previous letter, and I believe that the remaining comments are administrative items similar to what Dan had mentioned on the previous application. Um, so all these comments will be addressed. Uh, we'll submit the cost estimate. We'll execute the developer's agreement. Uh, and take care of all those remaining items. So, since the last time you guys have seen this plan, nothing uh, has changed. I did have a quick question. I know that I know some people who had purchased homes up there and it was still paid. Have have there been any occupancy permits issued? There, there have been. And are people actually residing in? There are. Homes? There are. There's been certain points where we've been turning over sanitary sewer, just making sure that we get all the as built correct per CTMA's requirements, getting easements in place, things of that that might have pulled things up. So it was like a temporary yeah. thing. Yep. Thank you. I still say that I said several times, oh, it's the overflow part. Last time we had that conversation, we had come back and we had added parking spaces. Uh, there were two locations where the spaces were added. Well, you have 70, almost 70 units here, you know, overflow. We do. In six and seven? Correct. There is, there's parking spaces here. And here. 
through, through here, there are no locations through here along the street's head, correct? I've been over there. There's a lot of cars on the street. There's a lot of construction activity. <laughs> I think I know the difference between construction and. Well, still, so that should be able to put work in. Is there a motion to approve? I I had more discussion or just said let the board to consider as well. I, I just don't like hearing this clean up many of the issues and stuff like that. It looks like the letter went out on the 14th and, and 15th was a, a meeting for the planning hearing board. And uh, I don't think we ought to be putting the planning commission or Dan through hoops. Uh, so we should, we should be looking at stuff like that and maybe push it back another month. Situation. If, if, uh, if a plan, uh, we, we just denied a plan last month that didn't comply. Well, it wouldn't, yeah. It yeah. Wouldn't so so what, what the planning commission generally, the, the cycle that, that happens is that, that we get the letters out, the planning commission reviews it, they decide whether there's enough issues or not. And generally, most of the time, there, there are minor issues that the engineer can address. Uh, I believe there's a pretty quick turnaround at the Board of Supervisors meeting this month. So people were running a little bit late with Easter and everything else. So we, we try to afford people the, the, you know, the most amount of time that they can. Grant came through and got everything that he needed to get before the meeting tonight. I'm satisfied that the plan is technically compliant with our ordinance. And we have our, just our, typicals, our typical things that we put in a letter so that when, when, when the plan is approved, that we're making sure that the things like the developer's agreement, the cost estimate, the bonding is all in there. In the case of this uh, being a PRD, there were conditions of the PRD, which we like to state that the PRD conditions are carried through to this phase of the development. And uh, they also have to do a legal agreement for the stormwater facility, uh, which they're building on site. And uh, really, that's it. So technically, we should be referencing that letter again to make certain that that's done. Yeah, in I, order. I would just reference it based. All those same comments were in my April letter, but I have a date, a letter dated today, May third. Another question: uh, Is there any uh, these circles and areas you put into some areas that have uh, the, the off street parking? Can you give us tighter view that I mean, it's hard to see anything in there without a size of the view? Um, I do not have anything within this presentation that zooms into the area, but there are, in this location, there are, there's six parking spaces, parallel parking spaces located across the, across this portion of the street. Um, previously, when the comment came up with the last phases of approval, we also added parking spaces to this area here. There were three here before, and I believe there's a total of nine in that location. And you put it to someone that across your way? Yes, there? correct. Um, there are there are three parking spaces in this location as well. And the back bin. The back bin you pointed to is that true? I was just saying that right um, there. as Mr. Fleer was saying that there there are no spaces along this loop. That little stub out there, what, there's a vacant area right out right there. What what will that be used for? Right now that is used as a temporary crossing. That will be a temporary cause that until the adjacent property develops and that will be connected through. Is that a lot right there? It is not. Well, could it be a parking there? It would be. Well, that's part of this, we're on this phase though. It is part of this. Can you commit to that right in there? I think we could fit maybe three spaces within that. Are you asking that be added to this? Yeah, yeah. He said to do it. So add the May 3rd letter as well. I would agree with Ron. These are there's a lot of homes there, and uh, if you have company visits or a, a party going on, and yeah, I don't know where my house, my yard fills up. But, well, uh, to be fair, though, you can. There's no on-street parking like on an everyday basis, but at, as in most neighborhoods, if you're having people over, you can temporarily on-street park for. And there's a phone number that you can call Cecil Police to let them know, hey, I'm having my daughter's uh, first communion. Do 